Hello, in this video I am going to show you save states, load states and just general hotkeys in PPSSPP which is a PSP emulator. I've set this up via EMU deck. You could have set it directly and in the description I'll provide two video links. One to set it up directly, one to use EMU deck. I prefer the EMU deck video if I'm being honest, and that is easier. But if you do want the direct method, feel free to use either one okay so you can obviously run games via emulation station and uh, but this video works better if you just run the emulator itself just because we'll be using a controller layout and that controller layout will you know apply to the whole of the emulator or the whole of the application which would be emulation station if we chose that and with PPSSPP if we do a PPSSPP controller layout it only applies to that it doesn't apply to our PCSX2 emulator or Citro or Dolphin or anything like that and we don't have to constantly change them okay so PPSSPP select it before we launch it go to controllers and you want to go to community layouts a fair bit down you want the one from Rockman 193 Steam Deck Optimize. Oh, I thought of that sneeze, sneeze there. PPSSPP controls, and these are the ones that I recommend using. So to select it, you can also just click search as well if you can't find it. Okay, now in here you can modify the, the back buttons, but honestly, I'll, I'd say leave it as is. You know, this save state stuff, I find it doesn't work unless you override it in the PPSP SSPP settings so mm, I'll show you the other way of doing it so if you go to play the built-in this config is pretty darn cool now if I select the game and so I'm gonna load state and at the back of the console I'm gonna rotate the console a second there's some back buttons here you should see them there you want to press L4 so it's the one on the left, the top one on the left of the back button, but you can read it. It's not that hard to read it. If you press it once, it takes you to this menu. From here, you can load and save states. So you can go to a certain state slot, save slot, and say, so if you want to click save, for example, and let's say for this one, load, load this one, we, we've loaded it. Mine is lagging for me, and that's because I've got rewind enabled. I'm going to disable that in a second. And let's say if I go back to it, say I want to, um, you know, save. You can click save. If I go to it, there it is. And you can undo last load as well. And you can rewind. But I've also enabled rewind as L5. So if I just keep, keep pressing it, it does rewind it. Let me show you how to enable that if you do want to. Press L4 so you go to here. The other benefit of this menu instead of saving states directly, but feel free to map that feature and I'll show you how in a second, is if you go to settings, you can change the resolution, you can add anti-alias, and you can do a bunch of things right here without having to quit the game. So if you go to controls, you go to, con no, sorry. First of all, let's have a look at the rewind function. Go to system, and it's down here, rewind snapshot, and this is the frequency uh you know you know every 10 frame which is not which is probably too frequently you could do it less but again obviously it will just because it's saving it there'll be a bit of a lag and it's different if you initiate it because you're kind of expecting it and you might do it at a point where you say okay i don't mind i'll pause it okay i don't mind that if it lags a tad but otherwise it lagging every even every for the rewind to really work, I would say you probably want it every every second or so, and the whatever frame rate frames that is. Uh, well, I'm trying to think. I can't, uh, you know, remember. But it'll be probably every what five, so about six, ten frames. But actually, probably be a bit more. But yeah, it's it's just not the best. It's probably be about ten actually, not the best experience. So the other thing you can do, so if you do want save states, have I disabled them? Yes. But if you do want to enable them, just go to controls, obviously enable them where I showed you. Go to controls, go all the way down to these functions right here. So if I was to delete this mapping, you click add. And let's say if I press L5, there we go. It maps here as S, you know, whatever was, if I go to Steam, go to controller settings, you know, whatever 
this was effectively mapped to, but that doesn't really matter to be fair, so I can delete it. You can also, so you see these save state and load state, these are just the default ones that are mapped in PPSSPP, for, you know, in terms of a desktop version, but obviously we've got the other menu. If you do want to map these, you can either override them or you can click add. So you can click on this to override, click it, this to delete, or you can click add and you'll add another alternative. So if I click that, and if I press R5, and if I do that for load state, and again, you could do that with anything. You could you enable the trackpad, you could do, I guess, R2, L2, because you, know, you won't need them. P PSP never had those controls. You can, you know, enable pause, frame advance, audio video recording. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that you can do here, but again, that's totally up to you. So now let's see if I'll save it. Save it here, press R5. It's save, save state. As you can see, it's running a lot better now when I'm not. And if I press, I pressed R5. And you might notice if I keep my finger on the trackpad, I do get these options as well, but I find they don't work. I find on some configurations they do, and like screenshot taken works, rewind doesn't work, and fast forward doesn't work. I just, I just, it's it's just one of those things where certain things work, certain don't, certain things don't. But that's the reason I chose that controller layout, showed you where to map stuff. So if you do want certain functionality, it's really easy to do. So that's it. For this PPSSPP, what well, happen there? You know, hockey, save states, load states, rewind as well. Video, if you have any questions, feel free to post in the Discord group and link in the description. I'll have links for setting up PPSSPP via EMU deck and standalone. And I'll see you in the next video. Like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. See you soon. Bye bye.